Good morning, everyone. We're going to do this. We're going to do a portrait of this uh, beautiful woman sitting on a beach in Aruba. Beautiful face and head, and we're going to focus on the head. I just uh, this is our first portrait, so I want you to just focus on on the head. Don't worry about the background and all of that. So, so you want to scale the head. You know, look at the height of the head against the width of the head, and make sure you know you're in scale there. I'm just going to put a little bit of her, suggest a little bit of her body in here. Okay. The drawing is extremely important in in doing portraits. I can't tell you how important that is. So I'm looking at a line from the beginning of her hair to her uh, the bottom of her chin and the shape of her face. She has a very very round face. Beautiful forehead, very noble, and she has sunglasses on, which are really nice to, to paint here. That line on the sunglasses is important. Then the nose is coming out of the sunglasses. Let's get that angle of the nose, a little round shape there. Bottom, top lip. Little protrudence on that lip. And then the, the, sh the slant of their lips, the line between the top lip and the bottom lip. And then look at the bottom lip. Does it extend out beyond the top lip or is it under the top lip? And then under the lip, the chin starts just a little fraction of an inch inside that lip. A little soft chin. And then uh, the roundness of her face. So on the hair, uh, you can see the hair is leaning back. There's a slight angle of the hair going back before it starts the top there, okay? Check out the width of the head and the way it goes up. See how the back of her head lines up with the nose. Then there's a shadow line on her face. If you look closely, there's a there's a line that where the shadow of the face meets the sh the light of her face. They call it that big bug, bed bug line. <coughs> I'll explain that in a second, but. It's a very important line where it shows the turn of the head. So the light of the face hitting the front of the face and the shadow on the side of her face. Okay. All right, we're going to start painting here. And you can see there's a very cool light on the top of her head, uh, especially as it turns the, the shadow. So and you can go right into the hair because the hair is very dark and it's also very cool. So you have that nice cool light and then you have a very warm, very warm red underpainting there on her cheek. It's, it's really red, it's cadmium red. So I'm using cobalt blue there and cadmium red. So you basically can paint the whole head. Now I added a drop of quinacridone sienna here, which is that nice warm red with a drop, you know, mix that with some cobalt blue to cool it down a little bit. And now I'm dropping in that red, very bright red face. I put the photo there, but I don't want to cloud out the, the painting. So I'm just giving you a little idea. So everything is about soft lines on the face. Picking up the drip. Putting that red back in and then softening the edges of it. It's 
it's all about soft lines here. Keep that nice and soft. If you see a hard line, go back in, try to keep try to keep the whole thing moist so you can work on it, you know. So this is like an underpainting, this red, the red that you see there, it's, it's, it's almost like an underpainting because we're going to go back in and <coughs> with this very dark color. Once that's dry, the face is dry now, so I'm going in on top of a dry, you know, on top of dry, a dry face there. That color is nice and dry. Getting the top hair, hairline in. Take that photo out of the way for now so you can see. <clears throat> so you can see how dark the hair is against that very light, warm face. So we're going to glaze over that, as you know. Careful painting around the ear. See where the ear, line, the ear and the nose line up. You know, draw a line across the eyes to see where that nose is very dark shadow under her chin, so I'm, I'm putting some dark in there. All right, so this is a cobalt blue, very wet, a lot of water here, so I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna pull some of the color of that dark hair that I put in and glaze over the face, the cheek. There's a shadow under that bottom lip. Spread it around, nice and soft, nice soft edges. Keep that nice and soft. Pay attention to where the light is hitting, but it's still very soft. There's a dark, very dark line under the nose, but again, we're going to pull that out with soft edges, make that again very soft. coming down her neck and around her shoulders. There's a nice piece of light on the shoulder, so don't lose that. Bringing that dark, beautiful, dark, warm color of her skin right around her neck and her shoulders. Leaving that piece of light on her shoulder. <clears throat> Okay, all right, there's a piece of light on the, on her chest, on the uh, far end of her chest. Very dark. Um, the top lip is very dark. It has a shadow. Most of us have that shadow under her. Then there's a shadow underneath the bottom lip, so, and then soften those, or soften those edges. Okay, so, all right. Bring in a little more of that cobalt blue with the dark of the hair in there for that shadow. <clears throat> right over the cheek again, letting that red come through, darken that ear. Very dark area behind the sunglasses. It's all the same, uh, you know, quinacridone sienna and cobalt blue. And this is actually cad red I'm dropping in. The edge of this shadow is very warm. So I'm really putting some real red in there. Okay, it's got a little bit big, so I'm just picking up that edge. Darkening the hair behind the ear and back of her head. It's very dark. I'm very rusty myself here. I, I, uh, haven't done a portrait in a long time. But it's a wonderful thing to get into it. So that's cobalt blue teal. And then she has uh, her bathing suit on. So I'm just putting the straps in, giving you an idea. All right, a little more cobalt blue teal. A drop of uh, Windsor blue on the bottom of the glasses. All right, just to give you an idea what that looks like. 
All right, I dropped some green in behind her just so you can see the, the look of the Bahamas, okay? All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. That's a good one for you. It's a challenge. And uh, I have a few plein air workshops coming up in Sedona and in the Loire Valley in France, if you'd love to come to France. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to paint. So I'll see you again very soon. Thank you so much.